I think liquid biopsy approaches, um, such as cell-free DNA for non-small cell lung cancer, are going to become increasingly accepted um, by, and utilized by oncologists to make treatment decisions for patients. Um, as the technology and the detection capability continues to improve, the panels become larger, they become more sensitive, um, the ability to make treatment decisions based on liquid biopsy will continue to improve over time. And I think these will be used not only at the diagnostic um, level when a patient's first diagnosed with cancer, um, but also for on-treatment resistance monitoring as well. And so for these patients, I think the ability to have a liquid biopsy approach, let's say they don't have to undergo repeat um, needle-based biopsies by interventional radiology um, will be a huge advantage in profiling a patients. And I think one day the technology will get to the point in which we can not only um, assess patients who have resected cancer stage one to stage three um, for early detection of recurrence, but potentially even um, a role for these assays um, in cancer prevention, early detection of cancer polyps and lung nodules, um, such that we can intervene um, in a patient's favor even before these can be detected by imaging. And one future application of cell-free DNA in non-small cell lung cancer as the detection capability improves is in patients who are undergoing low-dose CT screening in terms of best assaying whether a patient may have a cancerous lesion versus a benign lesion or in patients who undergo resection um, for early detection um, of relapse. One of the most exciting areas for liquid biopsy for me, especially as the technology continues to improve in terms of breadth and depth um, of cancer detection, is the ability to use these assays to predict tumor mutational burden, um, which would be helpful in immunotherapeutic treatment selection um, for our patients. Additionally, as these panels continue to broaden, um, the ability at diagnosis to get a single liquid biopsy to completely understand the complete uh, tumor burden that a patient has beyond just a biopsy of a single lesion, I think will be hugely important in terms of capturing tumor heterogeneity and sparing patients um, a biopsy. There are two directions that I want liquid biopsy to go in the future. The first is I want to be able to order these tests not just today at a decision point, but in three weeks from now and in six weeks from now and in three months from now, I want to order them every time I see a patient to help me know how their cancer is behaving. But if I'm going to do that, I need a result that is inexpensive and is fast, right? But that would be great. If we could order these again and again to help inform CAT scans and help inform symptoms and help us clarify how a patient is responding to the therapy, I think liquid biopsies could play that role, but not necessarily today's liquid biopsies. I think we need a new technology that's faster and cheaper. The second thing is I think we could move these, and many are investigating this, from management of advanced cancer to management of early stage or resectable cancer, right? You, I see a patient with stage three lung cancer, I've given them chemo radiation, and it appears that the cancer has responded. But you know how that looks, the CAT scan's messy, and there's a lot of scar tissue, and I send a liquid biopsy and it shows there's still a KRAS mutation floating around, right? That probably is a bad sign. That probably means that patient is gonna have a recurrence. And probably what I'd like to be able to do is escalate treatment at that point and maybe add another treatment, give more chemo, add immune therapy. And so finding a way to integrate retesting to assess disease status and to assess for cancer left over. There's a lot of literature about how to do that with some emerging technologies, but not enough using clinical assays such that you or I could send this for our patients today. Uh, and so that's coming, I think it's a year or two away, but it's going to be one of the next ways that we start using liquid biopsies A in lung cancer and perhaps across cancer types.